once you have chosen an inventory mode that best suits your needs and you've made a note of your inventory start date, it's time to start scanning. With the cursor and the commander barcode line, start scanning your items. As you're entering barcodes, you will notice the item's information will become current on the circulation window. The current item pane will display some additional information about the scanned item, such as the publication year, last use date, life to date usage, and the accession date. This information is useful in cleaning up your library and deciding if you would like to weed certain items from your collection. You may see some question marks appear in the transaction log while you are performing inventory. This is the program letting you know that the items you scanned are out of call number order. If you did not choose one of these suppression modes, be sure to keep an eye on the circulation screen to ensure you process any dialog windows, such as for lost items or overdue fines. The inventory date of items gets updated as soon as it's been scanned. Therefore, there is no need to save if you need to take a break or if you are done for the day. Just ensure you pick up where you left off when you begin to inventory again. You are also able to create a transaction script to perform inventory. As it is required to be in a specific file format, we suggest taking a look at our support center or speaking with our customer support team for any questions regarding transaction scripts.